a few but then again too few to mention I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption I planned each charted course each holy shit it's busy hello <laughs> Holy! Hey guys, how you doing? Why is my computer doing nothing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Welcome everybody. Holy shit, I need to catch up. Okay, Fang first, welcome. Dogman, welcome to you. Hyper, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Cyanide, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Atomic, hello. Flight to Zanzibar. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, hello, Yoshi. Jeez, bro. Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? Oh, man. This is great. The Christmas music is a bit loud. Okay, it's not Christmas music, but we'll put it softer for you. Just for you. Um, it is Frank Sinatra. How dare you? How, how dare you insult the man like that? By the way, is my stream okay? On my side, it's glitching as hell. Am I smooth? Maybe I can check on my side. Hold on. Christmas music? Shut your mouth, Yoshi. I hate you. Smooth as silk? Am I smooth? Shut. Hey, Quaestan, how are you doing? My computer is losing its mind. I don't know why. Hold on. I, I, I don't know what is happening. Let me just quit this game quickly so that I can refresh everything. But anyway, guys, how are you guys doing? Let me talk to you. So, Christmas music. Shut up! It's not Christmas music! Fuck's sake. Yo, how dare you talk about Frank like that? Seriously, guys. Seriously. It's, it's Frank Sinatra, okay? Have a little respect. It's one of my favorite artists of all time, um, and the reason I'm playing his music is because, as you may have seen in the stream title, I'm not playing Rocket League today. So if you're here for Rocket League, sorry, um, I'm playing Microsoft Flight Simulator for the first time in my life. Um, if you don't vibe to Frank, you're wrong. There we go. Thank you, Ty. Welcome. Um... Frank Shuracha. <laughs> I know, Links, what have you done? Now every time I'm gonna think that. Ugh, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I actually fucking hate you. Alright. Now, anyway, as I was saying, um Flight Simulator, very first time, so you guys are gonna learn with me. Or at least watch me as I learn and make fun of me as I fuck up. Um yeah, but while I'm launching the game, hello, welcome, everybody. I'm so happy that you're all here. Um, yeah, I think this is my my last stream before Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream tomorrow. I'm hoping that I can. Um, but for those of you who don't know, sub Sunday is my subathon, my very, very first subathon. So you get 12 hours of watching this pretty face. This pretty face. And... Um, yeah, you get to enjoy some weird and wonderful content with me. Oh wait, this is the wrong page. Hold on, go back to face. Alright. Um, so yeah, it's, it, should be, it should be a lot of fun. I'm hoping that my PC holds with this fucking flight simulator. Cyanide, I just want to thank you, bro. I've tested that link, but after a bit of a struggle, I found my issue. It seems to be my Ethernet port. Okay. For some reason, my upload speed was super low, then tried Wi-Fi and it worked great. Also, sorry for the essay. I'm just happy it works for you, Cyanide. Um, okay, I'm looking forward to seeing you live. Let me, let me cup you a quick follow. Uh, there we go. I followed you. So now I can see when, when you're going live. Let's see. Uh, Cyberlinks isn't flight simulated like 150 gig? Yes. Yes, it was an overnight install. Uh, it took way too long. 
let's see quickly. Alright, uh, Dogman, yeah. Hmm, let's not, let's not do that on stream, shall we? Because that's not what we're doing. Uh, let's have a little tact in the chat, please. Uh, but thanks for your help, you're my hero, you sexy bearded man. Oh, hey, listen. Listen. Mm. Mm. For those of you who tuned in last night, I'm sure you saw me doing a, a very sexy, sensual beard stroke. Uh, for those of you who didn't, apologies, you've missed out. You're sending me a Discord thing? Okay, let's have a look. Eh... Alright, let me tell you, let me tell you. Hold on. I suck balls. So you're sending me an update from a guy called Eddie, Steak Eddie. Alongside this update, we've also removed some unnecessary exposure to gambling related content throughout our recommended formulas. We'll also be adding the ability to toggle off all gambling related streams, amongst other certain categories viewers wish to not be exposed to. Viewer experience is equally as important to us as creators. Is that now from... Is that now from... Uh, from Kick? Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Great. And then... 100%. Um, Fang, it's actually an idea that I had. So... The whole mod thing. So I think I'm going to make you a mod. There we go. And then you can maybe just keep an eye on chat. Usually, usually you won't have to. But, um... Yeah. I appreciate that you... That you're willing to. Uh, links, how many subs to shave the beard? Bro, you can you can give me five thousand subs and I still won't do it. Sorry, I still won't do it. I will never shave my beard off. I've done it twice. The first time I hated it, and then I grew it back. And then the second time, the first time I had to do it for for work. So then I grew it back after I quit. And then the second time that I did it, I was not in the right state of mind, and I hated it again. So from now on, never. Never, 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 never. Never doing it again. Uh, when you reach 10,000 feet, press the red button. <laughs> okay. A beard is a man's pride, 100%. No, 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 Lynx. There is no price that you can pay me for, for shaving my beard. Not a chance. Not a single chance. Some look like a baby without it. Yep, that's me. That's me. I look like a baby without my beard, trust. The beard is too sexy. Ugh. Side out, you you flatter me. You flatter me. I'm not gonna trim it, dog man. Try grow one first and then we could then we could talk about beards. <laughs> it could be regrown and you will have a massive bag at the end of the month. I mean it doesn't grow that quickly. Oh you see my cat? Yeah, that's his spot. He loves it there. It's a living cat. Yes, it's it's alive. See? He moves. It's a very real cat. <laughs> the streamer did it. The donator refunded it through PayPal. What? Oh, here is an eye opener. Someone did a subathon and was gifted $2,500 to shave head and eyebrows. Yeah. You see, I've heard of that before. So that's why my things on my subathon are not anything with lasting damage uh they're fun to watch in the moment but i can go shower and everything is back to normal so yeah i think we just leave that there <laughs> kitty in the background yep that is my cat and he's not a baby um he's how old is he eight years old yeah he's not he's not young but he's like middle-aged when it comes to cats Anyway, yeah, I'm glad to see you all. Jeez, I did not think it would be that busy tonight, especially with my, uh, you know, with my stream being about Microsoft Flight Simulator instead of Rocket League for a change. But, um, what's the cat's name? His name is Nunu. <laughs> he doesn't move much when he does his annoying. You'll see him sometimes. He'll come around here, uh, come and irritate me while I'm playing. Uh, the first one links N U N U. I've had both cats and dogs. Dogs are diddies. Cats are smart as fuck. <laughs> True. Cats are super smart, especially this one. He's really intelligent. 
Um, which is funny because my dog is dumb as fuck. Uh, she's very cute. She's adorable, but she's not bright. <laughs> Two hundred and thirty-five thousand rand is how much money you would make from five K subs if my math is correct. Let's see. A sub is thirty-four rand, right? So two, thirty-four times five thousand. It's about hundred and seventy What the f oh that's my keybind, apologies. Eh. Um Yeah, it's about hundred and seventy thousand rand. And that then divided by two because Twitch takes a lot of money. Is your cat's name also a new new dog man? Why do I find that hard to believe? Why do I feel like you're making that up? I mean, if it's true, then great. You know, we have something in common. <laughs> Let me just put my phone on silent before someone tries calling me and you hear that on my microphone. It's about $5 a sub and then I just put it at $2.50. Well, I mean, a sub is 34 rand. That's how I work it out. So... That's why I really gift sub, I give money because you get more from that Twitch greedy. Yes, yes, I do appreciate when we get, um, I mean, I appreciate everything, of course, but yeah, it is true that tips are more beneficial to me as the streamer than, than subs or gifted subs. Then again, a normal sub is a recurring payment uh, unless you stop it manually. So um, yeah, it all, have, it all works for me. People want to send planks of water, just send your cash. <laughs> Yeah, I can see Dogman having a having a cat. I can send a picture on Discord. I mean, you don't have to. I believe you. Twitch didn't stop using bits, Yoshi. Um, bits are still available, as far as I know. It's a good point. Let's see. No, bits are still very much a thing. My computer is broken, by the way. I don't know if the game is doing this. Trend options. Maybe it's better now. But you guys promised that on stream everything is smooth, right? For for now. Can I fly already? No. No, I, I can't. Bro Beans, if you're playing Flight Sim for the first time, do you have a joystick or are you going with a controller? Um, I don't have a joystick. And I was going to go with keyboard and mouse. But... Do you suggest controller? I could change the controller. I don't, I don't mind. I've, I've never, like I said, I've never touched the game. Uh, which answers your question, Atomic. No, I cannot fly. The only flying I can do is in Rocket League. And that is pathetic. Okay. Smooth. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I, I was so worried because on my side it's glitching. It's just not, it's not, not, not doing great. I don't know why. Maybe I just need to put this down. It's on HD. Put that on 720. Okay, I think we just get into the game and see how it goes. I mean, we're going to learn as we go. Uh, it's probably going to be about a three-hour stream. Um, maybe four hours, depending how far and how long we fly. So, let's get into it. Let's pause the music. Here comes the money. Here we go. Watch it. Money talks. Here comes the money. <laughs> money, 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 money. Oh, you... You donor, you. What did you do? Thank you for the five. Fang. You really need to stop giving me money. By the time Sunday comes, you're not going to have anything left and you won't be able to make me do funny things. Probably try the controller first. Or try the controller a bit with keyboard if you need more buttons. I mean... How hard is it to fly on just keyboard? I don't know. 
Anyway, how's the game volume? Is it too... Oh, am I too loud? Holy. I can see I'm popping off in the red zone. Is that better? More stable? Better? Okay. MS Flight Sim is pretty okay on KBM. Alright. And the audio on Flight Sim is not too bad, eh? Save it, Fang, that we'd make Dutch stuff on Sunday. Nice. I appreciate that. It's gonna be entertaining. Oh, you thought the bike level was fine? Oh, okay, let me pop it back up then. Thing is, if I get too close, like this is way too close, um, then it's, it might just start distorting a bit. But if you say it's fine, then it's fine. I'll take your word for it. All right, so I guess start your journey here. Discovery flights. An easy airborne flight around iconic and beautiful locations. All right, let's see what, it, what happens. Okay, these I have to download, so I'm not going to do that now. Uh, core content, we can go to Italy, USA, Nepal, Egypt, Brazil, US, Italy, and French Polynesia. Um, my volume is good now. Keyboard is doable. They do cater for it quite nicely. It's up to you. I'll, I'll try it with keyboard and see how it goes. Um, I might use my mouse for like, you know, directions and stuff. Come here, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> uh, in fact, I've uh, made sure that it mutes when I unfocus on the game, so apologies for that. Uh, where are we going, guys? Choose one. First in the chat tells me where we're going. Mount Everest. Okay, Lynx was first. He was first with helicopter in New York. Okay. Let's do it. In this helicopter introduction flight, you'll perform basic maneuvers in a Gimbal Cabri G2, renowned as one of aviation's best hot helicopters for training, while rotary wing and fixed wing aircraft ultimately fly due to the same basic principles the mechanics of operation of each are very different the helicopter uses three primary controls for flights a collective which increases and decreases overall main rotor system thrust a cyclic which cyclically varies certain portions of a rotor, a rotor system's thrust and is used for pitch and roll control anti-torque pedals which control helicopter y'all jesus some words in here i've never even heard of Are you guys playing sound sounds? No. No, it was just a okay. Just a chat. Um uh, This is way too much reading. Let's just get into it. I hope this game is gonna tell me what to do. Oh. Why are you telling the controller? I don't even have a controller plugged in. I've been using my keyboard this whole time, surely. If you manage to learn to do a loop with a helicopter without crashing, you're pretty solid. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Xbox game, so maybe maybe I should use a controller. I don't know, let's see if it works with a keyboard, otherwise we restart with a controller instead. I click thought you were saying my rocket DK game name. <laughs> Clicklin. Flying over New York. Lol, hey, handsome. Hello. Hello, line dancing. Yes, yes, we are playing Microsoft Flight Simulator for the first time in my life, so we're going to see how that goes. I don't think this is going to go well. Okay, there's nothing on my screen. Nothing. There, there's no uh, assistance options. Surely. Controls options.
First person mode? I don't even know how to go first person mode. Uh, did you see my DM in regards to Turbo Golf Racing? I did. I did. Um, I will definitely check that out. I tried it on my old laptop. That's why I have a new one. <laughs> okay, maybe it is easier to do this on controller. Let's plug the controller in and see if it works. Don't, don't freeze my game, please. Did it just freeze the game? Really? Did it just freeze the whole PC? No. No, I can still see everything. Oh, wait. Um... Okay, let's go main menu and make sure that the controller is plugged in properly. <laughs> Sorry guys, there's going to be a lot of this for tonight. So I should have probably made a chill and chat or something. Options. Controls options. Apparently, I can't even use a controller. No. Okay, hold on. Let me... Let me just restart this game and make sure the controller's plugged in from the start. Maybe that's... Maybe that'll make the difference. I was in beta, that game got the nickname Rocket League Golf. <laughs> I will check it out. Controller gives you more control. My CPU temp shot up to 136 when I started it. Holy! It might just work, but if not, you might need to restart the game. Uh, yeah, that's essentially what I'm doing now. I'm really hoping this works. Sorry guys, missed start. <laughs> okay, it's loading up again. Your chat's super delayed. Don't worry, on my side everything feels super delayed right now. <laughs> oh fuck. And all at once I lost my breath. And all at once was scared to death. Radio Tower, this is Dutch Airlines, we've crashed the game. Tower yeah, no worries, take your time. <laughs> okay, it's busy loading up now. Apparently it takes a while. There's a whole loading bar at the bottom. <laughs> Ah. This is always fun. <sighs> While we wait for the game to finish loading. We might as well just have a look at, uh, where's my studio mode? There it is. Might as well just have a look quickly at what I'm doing on Sunday. Uh, here we go. Show. This is my Sabathon, right? So... There's sub goals, there's tip incentives, uh, gifted sub rewards, and giveaways. So there's a bunch of uh, different things that uh, you could do. As you see on the sub goals, uh, there's tiers for every ten or so. Eventually, it you know it becomes. Guy, okay, thank you. 
Uh, it goes from 20 to 50, then 80, 100, 120, 150, 180, and 250 in total. So a couple of weird things that I could do, like sing karaoke, uh, baking, I never do baking, uh, makeup tutorial on stream, that's right, I'm going to be painting my face properly with real, like, proper makeup and stuff, uh, TikTok dance challenge, and then ultimately an ice bucket challenge in the evening, at night, in the cold, that's going to be fun. Uh, tip incentives, you can choose my next game, for example, you can have me cast on your game if it's a, you know, if it's a live game, uh, chip you a private match, obviously, then I can get in. Um, gifted subs, uh, if you do 10 subs, then you get a sensual beard stroke. Um, I, I, I did a little bit of it last night on stream, so those of you who didn't see it, go check it on the VOD. Uh, it's very, very sexy. And then there's a couple giveaways as well, um, including one of them is a thousand credits of Rocket or Rocket League credits. There are two black market gold explosions. They are OEM wheels, black OEMs. Um, and then there's two times bags of of beans, coffee beans from Away Brew, and of course a cap from Bro. Can I do your face painting? Uh, it's going to be a makeup tutorial, and I'm going to do it as I'm watching it on stream. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do it myself. Uh, so that should be fun. But yeah. Okay, anyway. Uh, game is on, it seems. So let's pause the music. Audio in-game. All right. Show up. There we go. Okay, let's do flight training. Basic handling. And I absolutely cannot use my controller. It's not even... It's... Fuck off. So we forget about it. We have to use keyboard and mouse, so we just have to figure out where the controls are. Is that able to put my phone back on charge? All right, basic handling. There we go. How much left to reach a Comic Con goal? Um, I think we are close to a hundred and seventy dollars on my PayPal. Um, I'm not quite sure what Twitch is on at the moment. But we need about a thousand dollars, give or take, uh, to to be you know completely funded. So I'd say we're close to yeah between fifteen and twenty percent there. Obviously, I'm also trying to save from my own income um, to to pay for it. But I definitely do need help. Right. It's at least better than zero? Absolutely. Alright. Ready to fly. Welcome to Sedona. I'm Captain Jess Molina and I'll be your instructor. For this lesson, we're gonna start on the ground and focus on some basic concepts. Get ready for some massive crash. Every pilot needs to know before hitting the skies. This is your plane. A classic. The Cessna 152. Take a look around it. Look around the plane using shift down, shift up, shift left, simulator. and shift right. Anytime you want, you can easily switch to cursor mode. Move your the mouse. Cursor is handy for right interacting with menus and cockpit controls or instruments. Okay. As you can see, activating the cursor also displays the toolbar. The toolbar is a quick access menu that allows you to control various aspects of the simulation. Try to find and open the basic controls panel. Basic controls panel. Where is the basic controls panel? Oh, yeah, okay. The basic controls panel is a useful reminder.
reminder of the button layout for the devices you're currently using. Now try to find and open the camera panel in the toolbar. The camera panel allows you to access the various views and camera modes of the simulation. Go ahead and close all the panels for now. No way. I didn't even realize that Link saw my logo is in the middle of the compass. I mean, it's kind of useless there because you need to see like altitude and shit. Uh, close the panels. Right now, we are in the external view mode. Let's switch to cockpit view next. End. In front of you is the yoke, the primary means of controlling the aircraft. In the simulation, you'll be controlling the aircraft with your peripherals of choice. So let's hide the yoke for now. With the cursor, point the yoke and hide it by pressing. Some instruments allow multiple interactions. For example, rotating a dial clockwise or counterclockwise. In these cases, you need to lock the cursor onto them in order to interact. For example, take a look at the clock in the middle of the dashboard. Go ahead and lock the cursor on it. Interact with the with cockpit using the cursor. Lock the clock knob pressing. That's the altimeter. Where is the clock? Huh? It's flashing blue, sure, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't interact with it. Lock the clock knob, pressing left. Am I dumb? I'm probably dumb. Left bottom of the blue highlight a bit. Oh, uh, wait. Wow. Now change the clock time. That's bullshit. Change the clock time pressing mouse wheel down or using axis X. Mouse wheel down does this. This is stupid. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? once you're ready for now we're done with the cursor so go ahead and hide it all right as we've seen when you want to look around you it's easy to rotate the camera but you can also move it freely in the cockpit to get a better view of anything you want to see even through a window to look outside that's pretty cool nice pro tip once you find a camera position you like you can save a shortcut to easily get back to that view anytime. Oh, that's pretty cool. By hitting what? Control Alt 1. Now reset the camera to its original position. Then try switching to your custom one again. Holy, okay, I can move in the fucking thing as well. Control space. I see. Alt all right, that covers all the main camera functions available in the simulation. Okay. Try to familiarize yourself with them a bit more. Then reset the camera to its original position whenever you're done. Great. Cool. That's pretty easy. Hey, I win. Yay. <laughs> Next. Cool. Okay. Getting familiar with the aircraft main controls and instruments, the yoke to control the air, the ailerons, <laughs> and the elevator, the rudder pedals to control the rudder and steering on the ground, the throttle and RPM indicator, the airspeed indicator and altimeter. Okay. Rudders, pedals, yoke, throttle. Gotcha. Fly. Hold on. Just turned his 180 like no problem. <laughs> I thought of that as well. 
Top A pilot, like fly real plane easy. Let's go. Fly safe A, hit me up. Let's get you familiar with the aircraft, a Cessna 152, and a few commands to navigate it through the skies. In front of you is the yoke. The yoke is like a steering wheel, more or less. Turn it left or right to control the ailerons and bank the aircraft into turns. Look at the trailing edge of the wings while turning the yoke to see the effect on the ailerons. Look at the end of the wings by using shift down, shift up, shift left, or shift right. Move the ailerons by using num four and num six. Okay. Hey Penny. Look How's at the it? horizontal stabilizer while you pull on the yoke. You can see how it affects the elevator. Look at the horizontal tail at the back of the aircraft. Two and eight. Nice. Okay, down so that's up and down. Gotcha. The pedals. They steer the aircraft when you're on the ground. The upper part of the pedals also control your brakes. In okay. the air, they control the rudder at the end of the vertical stabilizer to yaw the aircraft. This is mostly for small corrections. For coordinating turns or compensating for a plane's tendency to pull left during takeoffs and climbs. Okay. Look at the vertical tail while operating the pedals to see the effect on the rudder. Hold F3, oh. Set your throttle to idle. Excellent. Oh, sorry, to get the shit. When the engine is on, you'll be able to see the... Can I pause? Okay. Hold on. Uh, so I know just a heads up, learning to fly properly takes time, but you'll enjoy it. Thank you. I don't have real <laughs> Why do you have to button mash to move the shit? Uh, no, I, I figured out eventually that you could just hold it. Um, so yeah, hold shift to pause, like nice. Forget to pick up the 100 boost. <laughs> Power change on your RPM indicator. You'll find it on the right side of the dashboard. This tells you how fast the engine is spinning in hundreds of revolutions per minute. Next, oh, take a look at your current speed on the airspeed indicator. It's on the left in the main instrument panel. It measures the speed in knots. Okay. To check your altitude, look to the altimeter. It's on the right side of the main instrument panel. The altimeter has three hands, similar to a clock. The long, thick pointer indicates 100-foot intervals. The short, thick one is 1,000-foot intervals. And the long, thin one, 10,000-foot intervals. That's all for today. Next time, we'll see how it feels in the air. Oh, let's go. That's what I want. Right. Alt F4 changes camera angle, sure. And if you press Alt F F4, you get nitrous boost. Nice, guys. Nice. Try 
training menu, okay, basic handling. Why isn't there just a next button? <laughs> Alright, familiarization flight. Sweet. Now I need to remember all these fucking controls, holy. That's gonna be fun. Frank, shut up! Okay, I'm learning. Okay, this is already flying. I've got to say, you chose a great day to go flying. Of course I did. This session, we'll get started with some basic controls. Sound good? Sure. First things first, let's get familiar with your surroundings. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Sheesh. The quick view by holding control left and control right. This is Red Rock territory. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that's pretty cool. See if you can spot the Sedona Airport. The runway should be a pretty easy landmark to find. There you go. Okay. Visual confirmation on the airport. New plane, nice. Enjoy the view as the instructor flies to the next step. Pretty sick. Why is my... Why is this not playing? There we go. That's better. Maybe that's what's fucking up my computer. Climb onto the wing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was wondering the same links. Um, there's no one flying this plane right now, but hey, we'll, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll take it. Schizophrenic we pilot. Bro, my yoke is not moving. What are you? How are you doing this? The demon plane, bro. Sent you the keybinds map in Discord. Role, That's genius. Thank you. Go ahead and try rolling to the right. Uh. You have controls. Turn right, toward the city of Sedona. Shit. How do I fucking turn? Hold on, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking bad at this. Shit. Or is it F? The, it's a, the numpad, isn't it? Holy shit! Jesus, okay. Calm down, everybody calm down. Everything's fine. Oh, there's like no control on keyboard. Holy shit! Okay, we're turning right. Make sure any control movements are soft and gentle. Clearly. As we're flying towards Sedona, let's try climbing up and down. Gently pull on the yoke to climb. Give it a try. Next time, be a bit more gentle on the controls. Yeah, okay, fine. Sorry. Yoke. 
Go ahead. Gently pitch down. Pitch, why would you fly straight? Do you have any idea how stressful this is? Holy fuck! Please call all your loved ones. Oh, fuck you, Atomic. I want to see you try this shit. <laughs> My package already left. Jesus, guys, this is rough. I'm literally flying straight at the airport. Excellent. Okay, there we go. Now that you're more familiar with the aircraft and the surroundings, the next step is to go deeper into handling and techniques. Soon enough, you'll be able to enjoy trips all on your own. Yeah, I'm too scared to do that. I got a C to pass. Instructor, be gentle with the controls, Dutch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't say I'm good at this shit, okay? Uh, I want to do that again. Let's just make sure that we're that we're good with this. Because now I remember the controls. Ish. Cut throttle with F1, decrease with F2, increase with F3. C is for champ, I am a champ. Not just in Rocket League, boy. I've got to say, you chose a great day to go flying. Oh, do we not skip this part? Okay. This session, we'll get started with some basic controls. Sound good? First things first, let's get familiar with your surroundings. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Okay. This, is this should go better, guys. This should go better. Trust. We barrel rolling again. But I'm gonna do a flip reset once I get all these fucking controls down. Do a triple flippy dippy. <laughs> Uncle Yanni! How's it? How's it? How's it? Welcome to Flight Simulator. Okay, whew. Okay. We already talked about basic controls while we were on the ground. Time to see how it all feels in the air. The aircraft is currently set to a cruise attitude. The position it should be in for regular flight. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just stressed right now because right, this is try banking into mm, a turn by difficult. The yoke. I'll go first. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna d d take this flight simulator seriously, I'm starting to see the need for a one of those joysticks. Under 30 degrees, okay. How do I see that? Go ahead and try rolling to the right. You have controls. Why does the plane immediately dip? Wasn't that enough, right? 
Okay. Excellent. That was a lot smoother. As we're flying towards Sedona, let's try climbing up and down. Gently pull on the yoke to climb. Give it a try. Nice. Okay, time to find the airport again. Look around, and when you found it, make a turn in that direction. Okay, the airport's basically 180 behind me. Shit. Alright, uh. Right, here comes the double flippy, trippy dippy. No, 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 go up. Fuck. Ah! Slow and steady does it. Slow and steady wins the race. Going pretty good. Ain't gonna lie. Yeah, no, no, down, 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 down. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. Do not hold on too long because it just immediately dips. Surely I got a B this time. The next step is to go deeper into handling and techniques. Soon enough, you'll be able to enjoy trips all on your own. I got an A! Let's go! <laughs> I'm a professional flyer, baby. Don't call me don't call me a pilot just yet. Watch Dutch get a C. Heh! <laughs> Suck it! They're saying you must do a floor pinch. Nice. Also, it dips because your plane's trim is not set correctly. You'll learn that a bit later, don't worry. By the sounds of it, Cyanide, you've played this before. It's been great. It's been your first time ever. Thank you. I actually flew a plane like that years ago. The pilot asked me if I wanted to try to control the plane. Excited, I said, sure. I pushed the stick forward and the plane dipped. My brother in the back seat and my mom <laughs> screamed. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you almost killed someone. Great. Are we ready for Boeing 747? Well, we'll see about that. Looks like the licenses in Gran Turismo 3. I haven't played Gran Turismo. Never. It was never really my scene. No, down, down, down. Afrikaans kicks in. Well, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's That's what happens. Sina, do you actually fly? Like, do you really fly? Or is Ling just talking cuck? Because if you do, that would be epic. Alright, let's, let's continue. Uh... What did I... What did I... Oh, pitching up and down. Yeah, I fucked that up. But, yeah, I'm happy I got an A. Fuck it. Only true factual, no cap statements. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll see if Cyanide actually does fly. Uh, let let them reply on that. Wait, what? Yes, yeah, Switchblade. I am playing Microsoft Flight Simulator for the first time. When I saw fly, I thought aerials. Well, we're doing aerials, just not the one that you expected. <laughs> How many more trainings are we doing? Okay, there's five more trainings. Attitude bracket pitch. Attitude refers to the aircraft's nose position relative to the horizon. 
There are three pitch attitudes controlled by the elevator. And in this lesson, you will learn to climb, cruise, and descend. In the image to the right, the dashed lines represent where you'll see the horizon in your windshield during climb or descent. You will also discover the relationship between pitch and speed. Pitching up will cause the speed to decrease, while pitching down makes speed increase. That makes sense, you know. Gravity and such. Okay, so back to Sedona. Cash off. How's it? How's it? How's it? Welcome. Oh, you don't fly, but I have played flight sim a lot and do have family and friends that are pilots. That is great. I have a friend that's a pilot. She flies like private jets in Saudi Arabia or something. Uh, it's pretty cool. If you tip the nose forward, your speed increase rapidly. Makes sense. <laughs> Kershaw, I'm great, thank you. I'm nervous as fuck though. This this is uh, this is difficult. This takes a lot of brain work. Oh, I'm flying. Shit. Pull back gently on the yoke until the climb attitude line matches the horizon. Then maintain that attitude. Place the lower line onto the horizon. Okay. According to your altimeter, we're gaining altitude. But we're losing airspeed, proving you can't avoid basic physics while making a climb. Smart. Excellent. Now let's level back out. Our speed is increasing and our altitude is stable. Altitude is not okay. stable? What are you talking about? Push gently on the yoke until the descent attitude line matches the horizon. Then maintain that attitude. Makes sense. Great. Okay, bring us back to level flight. Now your speed is decreasing and your altitude is stable. Okay. That's good. Try to make only small adjustments to your pitch to avoid overcorrection. I got a B? What are you talking about? That was great! Okay, cool. I mean, I'll take it. It's fairly simple. It just takes some, you know, getting used to the, the keys because it's it's very sensitive. Um, did I take you in Discord? You know what? I did. I did. And that's in the bro chat uh, under, I think it was updates or something like that. And there was a... Uh, um, you asked a question about how does leader bros work and i replied to it but then i looked back and i saw that that was from february so i deleted it <laughs> um okay training menu almost there okay we've got a's and b's so far i'm an overachiever To turn, you will have to move the yoke in the direction you want to go and maintain the si side slip ball centered with a small rudder correction. Okay, I did. I was doing that earlier. Uh, like for a climb or descent, or descent, an attitude or position of the horizon on the windshield will help you maintain the desired performances. You can confirm the bank angle with the notches at the top of the attitude indicator. Each notch re represents 10 degrees. Attitude indicator. Okay. Yes, yes, it's a cat. <laughs> Someone's behind you, don't look. <laughs> um, don't talk it. Wow. <laughs> you don't have to have a favorite. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's my cat. That's my Nunu. Okay, let's fly. Let's see how this goes. I think it's going fairly well so far. There's two people in the plane. Has that always been the case? Or am I just seeing them for the first time? What? Eh. Ready to fly. Let's go. For this lesson, we're going to use a line drawn on the windshield to indicate the crew's attitude. I've also added another dotted line to help you bank properly for left turns. Okay. Gently move the yoke to the left until the dotted line matches up with the horizon. Then maintain that bank. Holy shit. Level, you son of a That's bitch. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. Remember to maintain altitude while leveling off. For the next step, okay, we'll turning level. to the right. Let's level? see how you do on your own without any markings. At the top of your attitude indicator, there's a series of notches representing 10 degrees each. As a general rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. Start banking right until you're lined up with the second notch to the right on the attitude indicator. Then maintain that 20 degree bank while remaining at the same altitude until I ask you to stop. It is super passive aggressive, you're right. It's a lot easier watching this dial. That's good. The attitude thing. Level is back out now. That's good. Remember to maintain altitude while leveling off. Small corrections on the yoke will lead to more accurate turns. Cool, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, you gotta go, Yanni. Alright, have a lucky night. Thanks for popping in, man. Appreciate it. Hold on. Uh... Cap, you're always talking about Dutch streams. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Kirchhoff is one of my favorite followers. I'll stop spamming my thoughts now. Lol, I'm annoying myself. You're not annoying me. I appreciate it. Thank you, Cyanide, for, for keeping me in check and telling me that I'm doing okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. Stream elements. Fuck that up. Ah, okay. Hydrate, thanks. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Almost there. Three trainings to go. This is... What is this training called? Power settings. Okay. The throttle is the command to adjust the aircraft power settings displayed on the RPM tachometer. In this exercise, you will maintain the same cruise attitude and reduce increase RPM to see the effect of power change on the airspeed and altitude. Okay. So throttle and tachometer. Gotcha. Bruh. I mean, how else do you say it? Is it a tacho? Techo? Tacho? Uh, how do you say the fucking word? <laughs> Taco meter, taco. 
I don't know. How Switchblade, why don't you spell it out for me? Let's talk about Burrito the meter. <laughs> if you have the need for speed, then the throttle's for you. Full control over the power output of the engine. In the Cessna 152, that relays directly to the RPM displayed on the tachometer. Tachometer, there we go. Pull back on the throttle to reduce RPM to 1800. Set eighteen at holding F two. Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! This is tough. Eighteen hundred RPM, which you see on the tachometer, right? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, this is not going well. You put your plane in a dangerous situation. Th great, thanks. Pull back on the throttle to reduce RPM to eighteen hundred. I need to do this really fucking slowly, okay? Look how your speed and altitude are also decreasing. Excellent. Okay, let's throttle back up to 2400 RPM. Is that it? Make the plane go burr. Why is nothing happening in the game? I mean, I'll just leave it. I really tap up once. That's pretty good. How much power can we get? Throttles all the way in. Make sure you just get enough on your taco meter. Thank you. <laughs> Put some corn on there. What the fuck is happening? Okay. Why do you even need to reduce the RPMs? Isn't RPMs good? Make the plane go brr. Brr. Okay, what's happening? Uh, did the game just freeze? What? Because I, I can keep flying, but there's no objective. You weren't really supposed to try and level the plane, but it works. What? Uh -oh. The idea with this lesson was to show you the more power, the more it will climb, the less power will make it nose down. I see. You left the training airspace. You need to go back. 
Okay, let's go back. Keep it at 20. Nice and steady. Up it a bit. It was going alright, actually. I love like she's like passive aggressive, like you've left the training space, you need to go back. Bitch, you haven't told me what to do. I feel like it might be a bit scuffed here. I mean, I'm not really getting any sort of instructions right now. At a certain altitude and RPM, the plane should level itself. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's a lot of fucking things, isn't it? Might need to restart the lesson? Okay. Fine, we'll restart. Cyanide, it does say here, maintain the cruise attitude line and set 1800 RPM. So, I think the idea is to keep... Wait, I'm supposed to look at it. I'm supposed to keep the same attitude. Love to see Dutch play farm sim. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean that's on Xbox uh, Pass, so I might try it. Why not? Flying takes a lot of patience. I'm I'm getting that. <laughs> hey, productive panda. Flight sim. I used to jam it in COVID. Holy. Okay. 
yeah, it's the first time I'm ever trying it. I've always wanted to. I've never had the money because it's always been a thousand rand game. Um, but now I've got the Xbox Pass, so it's part of that. So it's great. F3 to increase RPM, that's correct, yeah. But what I said still makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Um, obviously, losing speed, gaining speed, makes, makes complete sense. Attitude that you need to keep is a positive one. <laughs> I mean, now I now I know of three types of attitudes. So, there's the attitude of positivity or negativity or whatever. Attitude of flying. And I think in ballet, they also use the word attitude. If I'm not mistaken. Not, I don't know for what. I think it's for a pose. Alright, this one is called... Straight and Level Flight. There's a lot to watch here. Holy shit. Alright, attitude indicator, gotcha, to stay level, airspeed, heading indicator, this is my compass, essentially, uh, vertical speed, measures in hundreds, 5 equals 500 feet per minute, okay, altimeter, and a taco meter, <laughs> well, it's a cometer, okay, measures in hundreds, that is throttle engine yeah right Nevids Nevids my dude thank you so much for the resub dude I appreciate you let's subscribe for three months hey let's go appreciate you my buddy all right let's fly Dogman, subbing as well. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For three months in advance, you're a legend, bro. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's fine. Power to 2000. That's and okay. Drop us to 5500. You probably noticed to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. You could just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Huh. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. Holy shit, this, okay, what am I doing? Oh no, oh no. You put your plane in a dangerous situation. Ah! <laughs> you probably noticed, to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. You could just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Okay. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag okay. the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Okay. Drag it up to set the nose down. Right. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. Keep working on it. You'll get better. I didn't press one once. You're not high enough.
You're not high enough. I'm climbing, bitch. Increase power to 2300 RPM while maintaining 5500 feet. Get us back to a cruise attitude. Huh? What? 5,500. I'm okay. I'm a lot higher than I should be. Go down. Seven. Trim the aircraft to maintain 5,500 feet. You put your plane in a dangerous situation. What? I'm busy going down to 5,500. Suck. Never mind. Thank you for the sub, Mike. How's it? Welcome. Sorry, I'm just really focused on this shit right now. Okay. Okay, so the trim is a lot easier to try and keep it up or like, you know, try and level it out. Can we stay at 55? Oh my god. That's good. Yeah, it's terrible. Additional practice will help, don't worry. Thank you. Changes at first to remove pressure on the yoke. Then small adjustments to find the perfect setting to keep your desired attitude. If you feel your pitch slipping and need to get back to the proper attitude, don't worry. Just pull on the yoke, then dial in the right trim. That's the key to straight and level flight. This is a D. Okay, C, I guess. Whew. Thank you, Mike, again for the sub. Sorry, I was really focused on that. Welcome. How are you doing? Um, this game is super sensitive. Eats chips while watching Dutch showing the audience how not to fly a plane. Yes. <laughs> Am I using the trim wheel or is this using yoke? I was trying to use the trim wheel, but it just didn't work for some reason. I don't know. Just uh, Well, I mean, it works. It's just I need to get used to it. That's all. Um, so we've got a sub goal for the Logitech flight yoke system, flight switch panel, and the flight rudder pedals. Huh? What do you mean? Mike High from France. Interesting. Welcome to South Africa. We have the flattest accent on the world. Bonjour. <laughs> Ça va. <laughs> quite tricky but you are doing great thank you i'm gonna do that again because i want to get used to that uh restart i promise we'll get into an actual flight soon okay i just need to learn this shit maybe i should have done this off stream but i i thought it would be fun to do it with you guys in chat so you can see how bad i am at new games give for a more realistic lesson, feel let's take a look at the relationship ah. between attitudes and power settings attitude plus power equals performance sent links You're on dc equals why not okay i'll check it out in a cruise attitude the aircraft's nose is positioned under the horizon and cruise power is at 2300 rpm okay try to reduce power to 2000 rpm while maintaining 5500 feet reduce f2 Oh, that's way too much. No, that's way too little. 
Fuck, this thing is sensitive. Alright. You probably noticed to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. You could just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Okay. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. Without increasing throttle, okay. So hold it down, go up. Why are we dipping? What? Don't dip. What are, what are you doing? You put your plane in a dangerous situation. I don't get it. Uh, you probably noticed. To maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. Alert, alert, yes. You could just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to I stole the plane until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. You can stall the plane when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Okay, I got that. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing. Throttle. Oh, I need to do it slower. Okay, gotcha. I'm at 5,500, what, what, huh? Okay, maybe I should go six. I am looking at the right dial, right? The one with the, the fourth from the left at the top. It says altitude encoder equipped. That's that's the one, right? That's the one I'm looking for. Or am I looking at the wrong one here? You put your plane in a dangerous situation. Okay. You probably noticed to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. Just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try adding trim to keep us at 55 without increasing throttle. That's good. What? I'm not at 5,500. Not high enough. Yeah, I gathered. You put your plane in a dangerous situation. I don't. Uh, okay. Increase power to 2,300 RPM while maintaining 5,500 feet. Get us back to a cruise attitude. Excellent. Now adjust the trim. Are we done? You did well, but you can do better. Oh. The way I was taught, when you adjust the trim, you make course changes at first to remove pressure on the yoke. Then small adjustments to find the perfect setting to keep your desired attitude. If you feel your pitch slipping and need to get back to the proper attitude, don't worry. Just pull on the yoke, then dial in the right trim. That's the key to straight and level flight. 
Okay. I got a B. Fuck it. It's done. Rocket League seems way more relaxing now, right? I totally get the frustration I had also had it when I started flying. Yeah! Yeah, fuck this bitch. Fucking... Passive-aggressive thief. This tutorial... <laughs> this tutorial is low-key dissing you, bro. <laughs> yeah, fuck this chick, bro. Alright, cool. We got a B. I'm happy. Uh, training menu. Let's continue. That was perfect, though. Don't listen to that. <laughs> Don't listen to that bitch. Alright. Uh, what is this called? Attitude test. Oof. Okay. In this test, we will review the attitudes by combining a climb and a turn. We will then review the power settings and straight and level flight by reducing the power while maintaining the heading and altitude. Okay. Let's do it. Left, right, up, down. Wheel, wheel. Like, oh, increase, decrease, got it. Let's see how this goes. My first test. Fuck, I feel like I'm back in high school. Let's go. The art of maneuvering a plane through the air isn't a mystery to you anymore. Now it's time to test the skills you've learned. As you can see, we're cruising at 6,000 feet on a north heading of 360 degrees. Oh my god, I didn't realize there's a small fucking arm on that dial. While maintaining a northerly heading. Fifty-five hundred, okay. When you feel ready, start descending. I am descending. Climb to 6,000 and turn south. It's a couple 180. Yeah, that's pretty good. The turn was good, but try to climb faster in the future. Are you joking? All right, next exercise. Maintain your heading of 180 degrees. Stay at 6,000 feet and adjust your airspeed to 80 knots. Oh wow, okay. Reduce Shut your mouth. Straight and level flight to better manage your speed and altitude. You did well, but you can do better. 
It's a B. Fuck you. I got it. Okay. Let's go. Training. Basic handling. Complete. Phew. There's a lot of brain work. I'm not going to lie. Remember not to turn more than 30 degrees. Gotcha. Uh, here you learn that banking turning will make you lose altitude. So in essence, you should always add power and pull slightly when banking. Yeah, I, I'm getting that. Taxiing takeoff, dead stick landing, landing without elevator, landing downwind and first solo flight. Yeah, B equals best. <laughs> All right, let's let's learn uh, taxiing. Hmm. I didn't realize how much training there is. I thought it would be like a half an hour training and then it's done. But, uh, shit, this is taking long. You just ordered Rocket Sledge new merch. He added a quote in it from Devon in regards to demos. Oh, nice. No, sorry if I'm annoying. I'm just trying to help. No, absolutely. Please continue. Continue, Let's please. Let's take a moment to talk about taxiing. Taxiing refers to moving the aircraft on the ground under its own power. In particular, getting from the ramp out to the hold short point on the edge of the runway. Steering on the ground is managed through the rudder pedals. That's right. Unlike driving a car, we turn by using our feet. What? Okay, ready? With the throttle I That's confusing as fuck. Parking brake. With the throttle release parking brake. Control decimal. Okay. Now, gently increase throttle to get the aircraft moving. Go easy on your throttle. Use your rudder pedal to turn left and enter the taxiway. As you increase power, watch the tachometer and make sure to stay around 1,000 RPM. I'm doing this wrong. Turn left, holding num zero. What am I doing wrong here? No. Okay, this is difficult. Restart, fuck this. Sorry, I, I missed something there. If you get 100% of this training, you're qualified to sit in a cockpit and do pre checks. Oh, nice. Flying takes time. To You're winning this. <laughs> Taxi refers to moving the aircraft on the ground under its own. <laughs> Should I have a prediction? Getting from the ramp out to the hold short point on the edge of the runway. Steering on the ground is managed through the rudder pedals. That's right. Unlike driving a car, we turn by using our feet. Okay. Okay, ready? With the throttle idle, release your parking brake. Control num. Okay, control decimal. Sorted. Now, gently increase throttle to get the aircraft moving. All right. Use your rudder pedal to turn left and enter the taxiway. As you increase power, watch the tachometer and make sure to stay around 1,000 RPM. Okay, zero and enter our left and right. Gotcha. Tough. 
This is really sensitive, holy shit. Oh shit. Speed. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. See the crossing in front of us? Stop. Unfortunately, uh, fucked up. wheels crossed out of the taxiway. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I pressed the wrong thing. Taxi to the next exit, then come to a stop. Remember to control your speed with throttle and brakes. See the crossing in front of us? Stop before it as if traffic was coming off the runway. Why does it keep doing this? Oh my god. This is so sensitive. Holy. Okay. We finally have a bit of a line going. <laughs> I'm watching my speed, bitch. I'm literally rolling right now. Watch your speed. Okay, okay, okay. After the right turn, come to a stop before the hold short point and prep for takeoff. Was the next it? challenge will be to keep the aircraft under control while at full throttle for takeoff. Sorry, I'm not reading your messages because I'm trying to focus what's happening in the game. On a single prop aircraft, the plane will always pull left when increasing power. Hold on. When increasing power while on the ground. So when pulling away, you'll need to steer right in a bit. Right a bit, okay? Got to treat it like a woman, easy touches. Also, really slightly increase the power, and then you can almost pull back completely when the plane is moving. Okay. Oh, so that it rolls, kind of, okay. Olga has really well patience with touch. <laughs> she hasn't raised her voice once. <laughs> We need a listen command. <laughs> I still won't read it. So, okay. That was B. It's fine. I'll take it. Okay, let's do takeoff. 55 knots, 75 knots. Okay. This should be fun. I'll probably crash. Let's fly. There's an old saying I like. A mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway will 
will take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Check to the right to see if a vehicle is on the runway, and to the left to make sure no other planes are approaching. Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Stop you bitch! Fuck! I went too far. I overshot it. Ah! Keep working on it. You'll get better. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Apply full power, and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Okay. Apply full power. Not gently. And we're airborne. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Maintain 75 knots and climb to 5,500 feet. Okay, 5,500 feet. You've reached your target altitude. Okay. Good job. That was pretty decent. Not gonna lie, that was pretty good. Ah, uh, jeez. Hold on, I need to go back and chat. Uh, one of my favorite Minecraft streamers has this listen command where it plays a sound on his stream hey listen oh, okay then he knows what message to read but hey you can basically fly vf oh now so congrats all done thank you very fragile roulators whatever that is <laughs> visual flight rules fair enough fight a flight is a flight i was about to make a prediction that you would crash on first takeoff just saying that takeoffs are the easiest part, lol, long landing is a tricky bit, but I must say if you land your first time, no problems with keyboard, I'll be super impressed. Like, I'll give you my lunch money impressed. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank permission to run a prediction? Sure, why not? I still have a few things to do on uh, takeoff and landing, so... Dead stick landing, okay. Why am I nervous about this one? Line up the nose of the plane with the end of the runway. All 
Right. I'll give you guys time to uh, spend your beans. I see that the prediction is for two minutes, so... Streamers can't cast the prediction. Ah, oh, man. I wish I could. Two K beans or no? Okay. All right. So much faith. Fuck. We'll see. Yeah, prediction's halfway done. I don't want to start until the prediction's over, so I can see if you guys, if you suckers, lose your points. You're all in on no. Okay, cool. Alright. We'll see. She. No one said yes. Not a single bean was spent on yes. No one has faith in me. Okay. Okay, so two thousand on no. Here we go. For this landing exercise, I want you to focus on the yoke only. We're close enough to the runway to land safely without adding any throttle. Maintain a speed of around 65 knots. Pitch down if you're going too slow. Pitch up if you're too fast. I line up with the runway. Oh my god. Keep your airspeed at 65 knots. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. To flare means to raise the nose of the aircraft to slow your descent for a softer landing, but without ever leveling off or climbing. The main landing gear will touch down before the nose wheel does. Suck it. It was hard, but I didn't crash. The prediction was if I crash and I didn't. Well, makes first landing. I made it. Okay, it's a B. You all lose your points for tech. <laughs> I actually, I actually do want to do that again. Reason why is I didn't actually do any of the, you know, landing like like with my rear wheels. I just crashed into the front. So let's do it again. Just just to be sure. I get it, you like drop throttle and tilt up. Very, very slowly. For this landing exercise, I want you to focus on the yoke only. We're close enough to the runway to land safely without adding any throttle. Maintain a speed of around 65 knots. Pitch down if you're going too slow. 
pitch up if you're too fast. I was about to say, if you make the landing first try, I'll donate fifty dollars. Ah. You're ten feet above the runway. It's time to flare. To flare means to raise the nose of the aircraft to slow your descent for a softer landing, but without ever leveling off or climbing. The main landing gear will touch down before the nose wheel does. This looks difficult. We're coming up on flare height. Resist the temptation to pull back. Now focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. That was much better. Much fucking better. Well done. Smooth as fuck. Fuck you, that was great. Approaching the runway at the right speed is key to a good landing. What? 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 How much better could I land? No way. <laughs> that was mm. I didn't even feel it. Okay. Landing without elevator, focus on throttle for a smooth approach. Okay. If too high, reduce throttle. Too low, add throttle. Aiming point runway threshold. Okay. Okay. In this landing exercise, I want you to focus on staying on the glide path using the throttle only. Smooth action on the throttle is key for remaining on the correct glide path. If you find yourself too high, reduce your power. If you're too low, increase it. Remember though, always make soft corrections. You don't want to overcompensate. No, can you stop banking so much? Holy fuck. I'm not aligned. Oh my god. Okay. This is not going well. Hey! Hey! I'm better at landing than taking off, imagine that. <sighs> it's really satisfying when you get a good landing, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually really satisfying. 
Now what else do we need to do? Combine throttle and yoke to land safely. Okay, we're just doing the same thing. I beat A by 45. Okay, but I beat A. Shut up. Final approach, flare and deceleration in flight. Rear, t rear wheels, yeah. Okay, so essentially what I did most of the time. A is an A, bro. A is an A. My first instructor used to say, the best part of flying is landing in one piece. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. And I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. <gasps> oh my god, this is so sensitive. I hate it. Maintain 65 knots. Okay, let's catch up a bit. Now I can teach you how to fly. <laughs> I hate this fucking side shit. Am I not lined up with the runway though? There we go. on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. This is not going as great as before. No, nice. don't turn, don't turn. Now don't turn. apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. You did well, but you can do better. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't clean. It wasn't great. It wasn't great, but that did okay. I think it was fine. I know what to do. That's the that's the most important part. Right. A landing is still a landing. <laughs> there we go. Final sixty-five knots flaps as required. Oh wait, no. Downwind eighty knots flap ten. Turn to base 6,000 feet, turn to final 5-7. Okay. That should be interesting. If I make this first try, I'll be impressed. I'll actually be impressed. Okay, we're currently flying on the downwind leg at the standard traffic pattern altitude of 6,000 feet. It's a flight path parallel to the landing runway, but in the opposite direction. In downwind, you want to start preparing for landing. That means setting your speed and flaps configuration. 
Reduce speed to 80 knots. Maintain constant altitude and heading. The flaps provide extra lift at the expense of additional drag. This extra lift allows flying at a lower airspeed. Flaps allow for smoother and shorter landings. Go ahead and extend 10 degrees of flaps, all while maintaining current altitude. We're gonna fly past the end of the runway here. Keep going until you see it at a 45 degree angle behind you. That's your cue to turn left onto the base leg. left onto the base leg. RPM. That'll also keep our speed around 65 knots. Turn left onto final. Keep an eye on the runway as we get ready for our final turn. Make your left turn onto final. Keep a stabilized approach and prepare for landing. going way too fast. Will help your accuracy though. Okay. Suck a dick. That was amazing. What? What? No. Maybe I was a little high. But other than that, I think that was great. Fuck it. I'm pretty happy with that. That was pretty great. I'm not gonna... Wait, I wanna see. What did I do wrong? Hold on. Why did I get a C? Can I see what happened? Uh, apparently, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to see what uh, what the reason was for the sea, but yeah, whatever. Dude is getting rough in his words. <laughs> it was a bit high, a bit fast. Yes, exactly that. But it was a it was a clean landing. Alright, take off and climb at 75 knots until you reach 5'4, 5,400 feet. Uh, turn left to crosswind leg and climb to 6,000 feet while maintaining 75 knots. Alright. Yeah, I should have probably landed a little earlier. I realized, you know, by the time the brakes actually stopped the plane, I was past the taxi lane. So, that probably would have made a big difference. Right. My first flight, here we go. My very first flight.
Let's see. It's time, your first solo flight. I'll be watching from the ground in radio contact if you need me. But something tells me you won't. Your goal is to complete Sedona's left-hand traffic pattern on your own. Remember what we covered in our previous sessions, and you'll be just fine. Good luck. See you on the other side. Cool. Wish me luck. Seven hundred feet, okay. I need to dip down a bit so I can pick up the speed. You have no idea how focused I am on right now. Fast. Damn it.
Sorry if this is boring, I'm just really focused right now. Ooh, ooh, daddy. Shut up, Fang. I actually hate you right now. Alright, here we go. Final approach. Oh shit. How would I go back up? What the fuck? No. I don't even know how this happened. Uh, Emotional damage! God damn it! I don't even know how I went back up off the fucking runway. I did so well through the whole fucking thing. And now I know what it's like. It's time. <laughs> that bounce is what I expected on your first. Okay. Alright, let's do this again.
maintain 75 knots, reach 5700 feet. Okay, I'm at 5100 feet now. the button once and I just pew. Come on! Pick up speed, you fucking slow plane. Emotional damage! Reach 6,000 feet, okay, we're almost there. Come on, we can do this. Okay, 6,000 feet is reached. There we go, start banking left. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Okay, we've leveled it out. Okay. Not going too bad. Not great, but...
Else maybe I don't too much. Fuck shit, fuck shit, fuck, fuck shit, shit, fuck shit. Come on, break you bastard. <sighs> All right. You did well. She, yeah, I know. Give me a B and let's get over it. I'll take the B. Ah. Yo, that is stressful. Okay, what did I do wrong? Hold heading and keep your speed at around 75. Okay. Right. No. <laughs> I mean, I had 6,000 points I needed, 8,000 for an A, so, meh. It is what it is. Okay. Learn about visual flight rules and how to use the outside wall to navigate. Alright. Glider training, airliner training. Bush pilot IFR training. Okay. Shoo! Sure. That was fun. <laughs> I mean it was it was fun. It was stressful but it was fun. Um That being said, it is 5 to 12, and I've basically done most of the training I wanted to do. I don't think we're going to get into an actual flight tonight, because as far as I know, those take a while. Um, so yeah, I think we might just call it there. It is rewarding. It is very rewarding. I had... I, <laughs> It's not quite having fun as much as it's intriguing. It's just, it's, it's, it's great to do, especially as it's something different to what I usually do. So, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Um, very, very first time. So next time I will obviously know a bit more about it. I'll see if I can get the controller working because I feel like I'll have a lot more, um, control, especially over the banking left and right. So, um, yeah, let's see if I can get the controller working. Otherwise, I'll look at prices for the joystick. Um, see if there's one that's available somewhere. I was actually flying, yeah. Well done, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's about training concentration. I mean, it is a lot of concentration, don't get me wrong. There was a lot of time when I was just sitting, staring straight at my screen. Um, way too afraid to, uh, to look away, so... Yeah. Okay. How nice a dame you 
Uh, let's quickly open a raid page and let's see who's available to go raid. Yes, we share. There we go, that works. Right, so live we've got on my on my likes anyway, I've got uh Bumsy, Sunless, Hercules, Chopper, Scottish, Breespawn Kitty, and Abaster Carl, Bass from the Past, and SKO. I feel like we should raid SKO. He is such a good supporter of mine. Um I played with him a bit yesterday as well, and he's actually pretty good at the game. So um yeah, let's go raid SKO. And then I will catch you guys hopefully tomorrow. Um S underscore K underscore O. There we go. Guys, go and enjoy. Go say hi. Go share love. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Gentlemen, see just how nice, how nice a, a dame you can be. I know the way you've treated other guys you've been with. Hey, luck, be a lady with me.